Okay, it's finally time to return to my number for Vlog. Left it was going in like July and then like March before that. But now here for another bomb I'll come back with me again. Kind of. Apparently it's gonna be a Halloween special after what yeah. This Saturday is the exact end of the season, but I haven't got that, which was probably made and take place before it, but obviously, you know. Why they give the Cabbage Bomb, like, air on October and have how to be in the middle of it, I don't know. And apparently it's supposed to be a special, which is not go in game situation. But I'll get her for Saturday being seen once an hour, you know, to the kind of bonus episodes, but I, we are going to record it. But anyway, Gone finally back for the bomb. And then this time, each day is a, a full half hour with two light minutes, like we did Pen Hero. It's just like that, I'm gonna talk about the first episode, I'm gonna pause here, watch the second episode, and then talk about that episode. Go. And there will be time stamps for the second episode if you don't want to hear about that one, or it's whatever. <laughs> but anyway, let us talk about Starstruck, the first episode of us, uh, yeah, we're coming back. In the cup, rip my gym burning. Um, in the cup of go, basically, we found my old fan as to I troll him or uh, sort of wash up after who stuck doing Colonel Hunter 14. Um, and he was a fan of him, and he learned the movie, the movie he was shooting, and he must have kind of tried to, you know, thumb down, come and get an autograph, or he could watch him from a movie, or something like that. But, Murphy Gloss, of course. Um, I really liked this one. Uh, this one was really funny. Um, um, it's, it's, it's a comedy one, was pretty fun. Uh, for, so right from the start, we can get a trailer for Crow Hunter 14, and of course, it go over the top and think that you would expect. And uh, my favorite joke is actually a production logo, because we can get 50 million of them. Dang. <laughs> um, oh, wait, 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 let me pop. Okay, got this. Can you call me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it was a production logo. Um, yeah, one of them was really blinky in the get picture, which, yeah, yeah, I got it. I blinked, didn't blink, but, it. okay, go, go, <laughs> yeah, that's the matter of fun stuff that they do, um, well, it, in chicken sugar drink and candy, and again, I feel we're so quicker repetitive with coming candy stuff, but with this one, because jokes we kind of line up are funny, but there's a lot of gems, you know, here, like, like, when you're trying to get back to Elliot at one point, and, um, you know, and Gak tried the whole, oh, I'm Gak, you know, take me to the furry girl, didn't scratch him while we go walk away, and the corn guy didn't fall for it, but the congregation don't scratch him anyway, and then, then they're different come anyway, because we are get in, and then another joke was on top of that, that I find to be really funny, and they kept going full of logic, a little joke, but I kind of put in play, you just don't expect, like, okay, go, the thing is when, been trying to keep Milo. Milo design is especially similar to that of a men in kind from Scandinavian goblin thing that, uh, you know, Kirk people and whatever and buying from Kirk so we run away from Milo thinking he have one. Um, so, so we get some joke out of that. And apparently, I uh, came out of watch we'll get Millie and the men in kind, which just for biblically of that is amazing. Yeah, can't be a big that taste of that. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why, but some episodes feel like they just got a lot of joke put into them. And the episode of all the episodes, we just felt the need to put a lot in the over God. Fine and Lava Candy. Oh, and the statue point do appear for a, like an instant. They appear to bring a well, shake, you know, one point for a joke. But, again, they appear at the episode. I, feel, I thought they were going to, like, do something for them, but now they appear. They only be gone. Yeah, there you go. Um, um, and the interesting thing is find out that through to buy Milo kind of learned about the whole, you know, problem con problem for challenges, you know, so that go we better do another information. So go there was the big hitter now to buy troll hammer. I don't know who was gonna be coming in credit, but when I talk to King up I probably know who was gonna I couldn't recognize him after that, so don't tell me I should, but um I don't think I didn't probably wake up. They got a few interesting gifts that for the week in general. Okay, cool. You know, go back and like, they don't go too weekly or anything like that. They kind of have that at a moment go. That good. Go. 
go. And like, I don't want to spoil the airdrop, but they're dumb. Uh, but, yeah, they do kind of the thing where you go know, and kind of shake him, and then they have to borrow something from Commander Tanter, and they do a good joke of that where I take one from one guy who brought up, I mean, you got enough for your golf, and they take from another guy, like, I like him, I'm okay with this. <laughs> I don't want to put all the jokes, but that's just another joke. I put like three big ones, so. Yeah, that is Star Trek. Star Trek, it's very funny. Again, it's not like brilliantly written, that kind of bit. It's really entertaining, and it's just a bunch of chaos, but for some reason, the mythic thing we show to do are just really entertaining, and like a fun shape. And then, um, oh, I'm more to guys mentioned about, you know, they make fun of the very way we involved in exploring the movie. Toy Story Camera, for all can any, because we don't use film anymore. <laughs> and they're going to think about that. Go. So, yeah, not, you know, it's a it's a fun episode, it's really entertaining. Go, yeah, go. I think that's all I got through one. Go, I shall see you in a second. Okay, now I am back for the thing after my dream, or the thing after, or thing just thing after my dream, written by Martin Olkin. Go, this thing up, go for an effective Elliot the Crocking Guard person, who is looks like Christian Flair, by the way. <laughs> Who got to go, yo, ball every guy up in here, so, yeah, that's, uh, there you go. No, no, like, get love help on the cup, go, you're out of ten. <laughs> like, um, you know, the cup, go, he is basically wanting the job of local safety inspector Perkin, which, of course, he basically has to make sure school are basically all harm free throughout the entire day, and, of course, get who he has a kite on to make sure that Nothing gets messed up. Yeah, it's never gonna <laughs> let My um go go the cup of code. Uh I'll carry it out to like a better star truck, but it's pretty pretty good. I got one quick caveat to it, no, but I'll get to that. Um but in general cup of pretty entertaining. For one thing got two songs. Uh the first one of them was in well the, the band, um up here again. We don't get to hear all of what we're doing at the moment, but then later on, they get a whole thing of a boulder, and during that montage, we get a song, and they could pretty catch a song. Just roll it. The other song is during, um, the, in, in the opening when it can fan a kick when it's gonna get a whole mythical number about being a safety guard along with the safety babe. And it's really entertaining and fun. Again, they don't put on every up going for them probably to not directly copy it, but they've written a decent amount of Kong. And when they do, they're about good. They're completely entertaining Kong. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely an entertaining Kong. Apparently, if they reveal a very well point, they'll have Weird Al seeing a parody of a Finia Kong. And, well, I don't know what can happen in like, with the event, I mean, I can get by them. I do wonder when it does happen, it'll be obvious in you know, the like, train, or it'll just be a phone playing and it's like, hey, wait a minute. You know, I can't think of that, but. Anyway, go. So. But anyway, so most of the episode, of course, him trying to prevent bad things from happening. But, you know, sure. In fact, one would have to come from the fact that he paying more attention to Milo than ordinary things like in a scene where he paying this attention to Milo, but he doesn't really care about the fountain problem, the fountain problem, the fountain. But it's kind of a good joke if we get out of that. Um, Bradley appearance can get the line. Like, yeah. Seriously, why? What happened? The guy was starting to like, be a low key for an antagonist kind of figure, or very kind of like, or some like, or mechanical, whatever. But after both for a few, I like, got ring for the enemy and stuff like that, he, he vanished. I mean, he, I, he, he, I believe he appeared in the background and went up the code, and he had a line, and we're going to go. But then he has one line here. Can we play where a car badly can trick? Can we? I mean, we're starting to get like cameo, but that's not good enough. Can cup code imagine me? But in the previous cup code, it appeared for Mayor as um Tomato. I remember director Peter Fonda. Random, but okay, they did pretty good. That's a good joke actually. So I quit and do. No, we kept on going up. Good square king. So, if you want that, that's that. Come up to Cap one is pretty funny. But it's not being like, as funny as a lot of stuff in the previous Cap go, but take on its own is definitely very entertaining. You know, again, like the way he tried to cover up things for the Pokeball, like with the fountain thing, go. 
Um, yeah, you know, like, um, uh, it's gonna be good, like, uh, we get to keep Mr. Moroc in classroom, but that's getting her, to get her to death. You all get, um, yeah. Okay, um, uh, not a lot, it's a lot of escape, there's a lot of big Elliot running around, and, you know, but, technically, I got a bunch of people one, but I just found that one more interesting. Um, uh, but, yeah, go. Uh, but yeah, a lot of fun stuff, and then we get to see, um, you know, we get to see, we get to see him out relaxing, so that's really cool. So we get more development with him, and like, it's so neat to him, and he got started imagining winning an award for the whole thing, and, uh, so, he definitely had a good time, dream, background, honestly, crushed a lot by, by Milo, um, and they also created a few couple of goes, and he got control of Verico, the guy in the street, I would count, so that's cool. Um, so, in the country, you kind of want to come around and go, cause, the, yeah, the thing is, you get quite easier, cause, but you kind of have, you know, woke and dream again, and you feel, and you feel like if you just kind of want to, like, stop fucking worrying about that too much, you think it would actually be fine, um, the one, you know, and then give it a part where, you know, things get quite better because might open the door for him, go, so, you know, get yeah, an kind of back, we have the kept going, and you move out. Which is why it's kind of weird that spoiler he looming in the end. And that kind of put tension for me. I still call it good, but I feel like if more think about it, I might have a problem with the fact that you kind of look at the end. It's in a kind of funny way. Like, it's you know, a good joke we do with Milo at the end, but kind of like you go through all the trouble, Denny Luga is going to like, oh well. But do a good joke with it, and it's not too you know, harsh. And it's not like you're totally completely innocent. But while you play Jerkish through the cork of the episode, and you can, you're kind of room for it. Like, come on, Elliot, you can do it. But Barry can't, you know. But at the same time, you really get a temp, like a, all you really look at get like a chance to be like a 50 type perk at cool while, yeah, you know, that being the cross guard, but now it's just the cross guard. Thinking, there you go, good, they can get you a bear real quick. You're, you're fine, but I was never hired though. Go, you're not hired. <laughs> Go, that's good. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird how you just kind of get it. But, it can be currently kind of sluggish. I feel like it's not bad to give it one of the main characters having to, you know, or, or a few. But I think he relatively like one, like one compared to our episode. So, I, most people probably won't care about that because it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, but for me, I think I'm going to call it good, because for now, that's more of a dumb kind of ending thing, and the rest of it is pretty entertaining. And I know what kept before the um, vlog about watching going for a web code only to get, you know, yeah, I mean, pretty kind of going wrong with that at a time, but uh, we'll see how rewatch will do if the ending really affects it, or if it's, like, still pretty entertaining, even kind of doing the ending, because it's really still not gone jokes, and then go... Yeah, so, and it's not that a good deal, we don't know that much, and it's not like, and at least we know it's supposed to be funny, so we, there's no confusion over what's supposed to be the point, so, and hey, the Kong doesn't make up for both of them, so yeah, it's a fun look, so, but between two, Star Trek a lot better, I think the kind of potential would be better because of the story element, but that one, John Star Trek, and it'd be very enjoyable, so, yeah, that one was better, but it was fun too, even with the ending, which had to be some good joke, so... Yeah, that is really good for my dream. And now I'll just do a wish going up for the full song. Um... Okay... Go... While my week go, tomorrow... We have a clockwork origin and perchance to sleepwalk. Okay, that sounds fun. That's the latter one. Um, anyway, so I shall see you guys for those again. Thank you. Bye.